achieved. What is up, everybody? Um, it is Jake here, Bullets, and today we're going to be doing a um moderately too advanced tutorial in Photoshop. Um, and if you haven't seen my new background lately, um, is revolved around that. It is the paper theme, and what we're going to be focusing on is the paper outline of the text. Um, this is called the paper theme by me, or I named it that, I guess you could say. I didn't start this theme, it's becoming very popular, like I mentioned before. Um, or the recyclable items theme, and I'm just good on the jokes today. So, um, just to show that this is popular, I'm just gonna go to this guy right here, Parker has PVR, who taught me to do this. I gave him full credit for teaching, I don't know if he created this method, but he did teach me it. And I thought I'd share it with you guys, because I'm a nice person like that. So anyway... Let's go into Photoshop. You're going to want to create a new um, file, and you're going to want to make it 1280 by 720 Um, Next, you're going to want to go to your paint bucket tool, and you're going to make the background a darkish gray color, because that looks the best in the situation. Next, you're going to go to your text tool, and you're going to want to make it say, I'm going to make it say, um, your gamer tag, stage name, YouTube name, whatever um, looks, uh, Good in this situation, I guess. So and you're gonna want to make it um 120. It's about good. Um, next, deselect the layer. You're gonna want to make two text layers. Now you're gonna have to make two text layers. I'm not gonna be like, oh, that's such a drag. I only wanted one, but you can erase it after it's done, and I'll teach you how to erase it. I guess if I have time at the end of the video. If I don't, I'll tell you when you can erase it. So what you're gonna want to do. Uh, it's just making another text layer. I'm just gonna rotate it and scale it so it looks halfway decent. Um, yeah. So, um, that looks that looks fine. I guess you just use that. Um, you can just uh place it down and apply it. Now, next, you're gonna want to go to your one of two layers. The bigger layer, you're gonna want to make the you're gonna want to put in a stroke, and you're gonna want to make the size 10. Take the other small layer, like I did. If it's small, you're gonna want to make it just about 3. Keep it the same. And now, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to select, um, load them by holding Shift, clicking one, holding Shift, and clicking the other. Right click it, and you're gonna want to rasterizing them both, and then you want to merge the layers. Next. What you're going to want to do is I'm going to have a download in the description for a piece of paper. Um, you can get these uh, on the internet, on Google, but I'm just going to be generous and leave a piece of paper um, for you guys. And I think I have a picture of my own, I guess. Um, piece of paper. Uh, yep, that's right there. That's what I'm going to leave you guys, because I think it looks nice. And just drag it out right so it's over. Uh, the GFX, or what the, your t the text layers that are merged, just drag it right over, and then you're gonna want to click on your GFX layer and go to the magic wand tool, and you're just gonna want to click on the gray, and now it'll select that, and you're gonna go to select, and you're gonna inverse, then you're gonna want to click on your paper layer, you wanna go to select inverse, and you're gonna go to your eraser tool. While it's selected on the paper. You're gonna want to erase. Now you're just gonna have that. Now you're gonna be like, "Oh, what the fuck did I just do?" Ew, that's disgusting. Don't want that. But we're still gonna keep on going. And on the paper layer, uh, you're gonna want to change the layer to exclusion. Now you are done. Um, this can work for most um most things such as the uh people I have on the bottom just by doing the same exact thing but using two layers um just as I did because I used the people and the uh and um the uh speech bubble and then I added the text later so if you guys really want me to do a tutorial on the people I can do that as well um now that we are done um if you like see I messed up here I actually made them too close um I actually made the uh, GFX and the bullets connected, which does look good. But if you'd like to and you want to erase something like that, you could just um, go to your erase tool and erase the uh, G 
GFX part, I guess. You just want to do like that. Or some, something like that. Whatever you guys really want it to do. It's not up to me to judge it, but... Um, you can do that after. Um, so once again, this has been Bullets, and I'm out. Peace.